And speaking of all things thunder, let's get right to that forecast. So for the air show, temperatures will be in the upper 50s to around 60 degrees. I would think about taking an extra layer of clothing, though, because it's going to feel colder than that with winds around 15 to 30 miles per hour. I think we'll start with some sunshine for the first part of the day and start to increase the clouds throughout the afternoon. And a few of those clouds might produce a few sprinkles or an isolated rain shower. But largely, for the most part, it's going to be mostly dry for our thunder over little Saturday, so that's the good news. Now, a reinforcing shot of chilly air is going to arrive later in the day and into the evening time. That's going to make those temperatures drop to the 40s. Wind chills in the 30s for the fireworks, so maybe think about two extra layers and maybe the blanket as well with the wind still up at around 10 to 20 miles per hour. Warm out there now. It was a summer like day. 77 our current temperature, but look at these numbers. 87 are high. That ties the record for today's date at 87 degrees set back at 1896 and also in 1976 a good 16 degrees above our normal high of 71 degrees and right now 73 and 77 still warm throughout the metro area at the airports a south breeze continues to keep those temperatures elevated here and outside of the city in the upper 60s and lower 70s uh, the weather has been very active out to the west no more severe weather out that direction and this rain is bumping into some really stable dry air and it's slowing down as well. As you'll see with future cast overnight, there might be a couple showers that clip areas around Jasper and Bedford west of I-65, but most areas will stay dry through the nighttime. Around 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, areas west of I-65 starting to get wet. And then notice as we head right towards about lunchtime, we're starting to see that rain overspread I-65 in more areas throughout the WHS 11 viewing area. Might get a little break every once in a while late afternoon, early evening. This is around 5, 6 p.m. Uh, but as we head to late tomorrow night, that's when the rain begins to get heavier. Could see a good inch of rainfall, and this is much needed rainfall. A lot of farmers are trying to get busy in the fields, our lawns and and gardens and flower beds uh, could desperately use this rainfall. We have about a two and a half inch rainfall deficit so far this month. Here's the good news again as we go into Saturday morning. Thunder here. The rain is off to the east. It starts off with 40s and 50s in the morning time, upper 50s to around 60 in the afternoon. That's around 2 to 3 o'clock. And notice a little blip here and there. Uh, so there could be a couple of sprinkles uh, late in the day and then dropping into the 40s uh, for our Saturday night and feeling like the 30s. 62, the overnight low with increasing clouds tomorrow. It will be coolest to where we see that rain first out to the west warmest with some lower 70s off to the southeast. So after the rain tomorrow, chilly and breezy throughout the weekend, a high of just 57 for Sunday. We level off in the 60s for highs for much of next week with rain returning Wednesday and Thursday.